Taurus Air Nation, Martin Chuck here, and I've got the dreaded 25-yard pitch shot. And I'll tell you what, I am not immune to going through fits on these shots just like you, but I want to walk you through some of the things that you have to understand in order to trust yourself so you can pull these shots off. Now, when you watch from the face on camera, notice where the handle is relative to my body. There's a narrow stance. The golf ball is kind of in the middle of that narrow stance. Now watch how I transport this handle. Watch where the handle goes. Is the handle moving or is it being moved? I know it's a little play on words, but notice how my pivot is transporting this handle. Well, if you're struggling hitting these cute little pitch shots off of a tight lie, and you know the British Open, they're gonna be at St. Andrews, they're gonna have tons of these, and you're gonna watch the best players have this variation on how they pace and face the target transporting this handle with their pivot. So once you can do this a variety of times, it's kind of rotating into a lead leg, and go ahead and do this. Notice how my arm's not coming away from my body, how I'm not flicking the club with my hands. That would add loft. There's, a, there's, there's opportunity to do that, but let's just get this basic one down. No backswing. From the starting form, handle gets transported with pivot. Then we can add a bit of speed and then see if we can't sink that sensation of where the handle goes. So I'm going to tip over to a golf ball. I've got a lob wedge. Pitch this just short of the green right there. Choosing some speed and pacing and facing that speed. Okay, so that was a nice shot. Rolled up close to the hole. And man, I want you guys to understand this. You're, it's so bizarre to actually do this when you start to learn it. How to basically stand there passively and kind of rotate into a left heel or a lead heel for you folks that are left-handed, just kind of rotating with no backswing. Then we energize this a little bit and try to connect those same feels because most of you miss and guess what? You get stuck in the idea that you have to keep your head down and the next thing, nothing's really moving and it's some bladed shot across the green, that's embarrassing, or it's a chunker because we have too much, you know, leading edge exposed. So notice how if you do this, I guarantee you, you'll do fantastic. Let's transport that grip. Nothing's moving here except my body. And then let's learn how to pace that with a bit of backswing and transport that grip the same way. Let that ball get collected and trickle forward. And those are good shots. I take those all day. So tourist regeneration, those tight little pitch shots. Notice they didn't go very high because that's a grippy, spinny shot onto a you know afterthought practice screen. So imagine if that was a really nice screen, there'd even be more appearance of bite and check because of the green. But remember, let's learn how to rotate and relocate, not handle drag or let the arms do bizarre stuff. And then if we add a bit of backswing to that and then connect that finish feel, you're on to pitching the ball beautifully.